Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and welcome back to European Ship Simulator. As you can see they've just recently updated the game with a new menu screen. Nothing that exciting but at least it is some kind of a menu screen because before it just would come up with a list of missions. Um, so yeah, slowly they're improving things. Start new game, so this is exactly the same. Uh, kind of the missions are the same but they just have more information and stuff anyway they just added one which is about a large cruise ship you must unberth the ship from a service bay then pick up the passengers and find the exit the port of Hamburg so this should be fun because I had another passenger ship before and I did it very badly the crew has finished the inspection all satisfactory it's time for the passengers to board the ship Look at this thing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, look at this. We've got some flicker in here. We have got some flicker in on the the modeling. Yeah. I mean this game is still in early access, but I would hope that they do work on this model a bit more. They've obviously added it very recently it looks okay but if you remember the level of detail like the weathering and things like that on the well there is some kind of weathering here but I don't know I I feel that the um, the first few boats that they that they added like the tug for example looked amazing all the textures were amazing I feel like at the moment they're not doing quite as well with the, the latest ones that they've had. Okay, let's have a look around the cabin. Again, it, it's very much like the other one they did, the other cabin. Maybe slightly nicer actually. I mean, it's kind of nice you've got such a large, large cabin and you can walk around. I mean, obviously, this is a much larger ship, so it's going to actually take them longer to get every single detail in here. But, I don't know, actually, actually the interior is pretty nice, to be fair. I feel it's just more the exteriors they need to work on, especially the more recently added ones. I mean, it would be awesome if we could actually walk around out here as well. Anyway, this thing is a beast, and I imagine it's going to be hard for me to control. There's the map. Nah. Cool. Right. So, uh, I think we've got the bow th thruster thing. I think we have. Is that what this is for? But there's only one of them this time. Is it going sideways? I think it is. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Or is there only one at the front? Is that just a front one? Like the other one? The other the other passenger ferry thing had two, right? Anyway, let's put it all the way... Uh, no, hang on. I think we worked out with the last one. We put it back to zero. And then we'll be good. Okay, we need to be really careful with this thing because this thing is a lot larger than what I had before. So, yeah. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Because this thing is crazy big. Like, if you think that other one was big, this thing is crazy big. So, we're supposed to be taking it over. I think over there, whoa, there's a big, there's a container ship coming. That could end badly. Am I supposed to be like turning it around here? It looks like it, doesn't it? I don't know. Taking it all the way over there somehow? Like, wouldn't you use 
a tug in in this situation in real life? I I would be under the impression that you would just use a tug. There's two container ships. This is not good. Um, yeah, that would be my impression. But I could be entirely wrong there, but I just feel that you would use a... Um, I wish there was a way to speed up the time, you know? Yeah, it's definitely telling me to go there. I believe that's just a marker. Okay, we're going to have to come right off the power. Because we don't want to crash into this baby, do we? This thing is uh, it's coming quite quick. But after these two container ships have passed, we should be good. But yeah, I would have thought such a, a tight area here that we're working with, I would have expected there to be loads of tugs around here and there's a a boat that we're going to completely block off sorry mate not a lot I can really do about that to be fair I wonder if we go like that if we use this funny thruster thing going right will that start turning the ship for me let's have a look it's really hard to tell sometimes what the ship is actually doing because it's so slow, you know? Is that actually doing anything? I don't know. I think it is, but just ever so slowly. Yeah, I think it is actually. We don't really want to be doing it fully until this thing has gone. And like I said, this boat coming is going to be not too pleased. Yeah, like, the reason that I say this is because I live in Hong Kong and I do... S Shut up! This is the captain of the nearby ship speaking. If you continue, we might collide. Well, what do you want me to do, mate? Seriously, where do you want me to go? There's two container ships, and I'm massive. Where do you want me to go? And I'm on my own with no tugs. There seems to be some kind of glitchy thing over there with the shadows, look. Anyway... I mean, seriously, where do you want me to go? I don't understand. Right, I'm going to go full right and a little bit of power now. That's, that's probably too much. Because we have to go so slow here. But yeah, because I live in Hong Kong and there's a cruise terminal here, I do see cruise ships that are coming in and out of Hong Kong, right? And... Whenever they're in these kind of lanes, they have loads of tugs all around them. So I don't know why I don't have any tugs. But anyway. Right, so I'm imagining in. Imagining in? I mean, where are we going to have to put the people on? I, I don't know. It's very unclear to me. Like, I, Is that the exit of the, the port over there? I don't know. Anyway, this seems to be working though. I think we can actually put a little bit more power on. It seems to be working. Using the thruster thing to help me kind of turn faster seems to be working. Don't go that side of me, mate. Go the other side. Don't go down that side. Anyway, whatever. Okay. I think I do need to come off the power a little bit because... This thing is totally massive. Anyway, so far, I think I'm doing a good job. You guys have seen how hard I find this stuff. We are all the way to the right. Yeah, we are. So, so far, I'm doing a good job, especially with a massive cruise ship. Alright, we have to come off the power. Because, look, we are going to crash. And we're going to have to let that thingamajiggy, let that thruster thing, stern thruster or bow thruster, whichever one it is, do the work. It's kind of weird how there's only one on this, though. Whereas the, the passenger ferry, which was not as big, had two. We are getting very close here, but I think we should be okay. 
And where are you going, mate? Where is this little boat actually going? Look. Like, seriously, dude. Where are you going? Just go that way. There's a massive space there. Just off you go. See ya. You're really starting to put me off. Right, I think we're going to make this, but this is very tight. And like I said in the last video, I wish I could speed up the time. You've always been able to speed up the time in other ship simulator games. So in this one, you can't. It would be nice. Then you don't have to sit through this quite as much. Look, that's crazy. We look like we're going to hit that friggin' the building. <laughs> we literally look like we're going to hit the building, but I think we're good. Oh, I don't know though. I think I think we are good, but that's really close. Like that's crazy. Look how close that is, lol. I think we're good. <laughs> of course you'd never do this in real life, but hey. As long as the game doesn't fail on me, then I really don't mind, that's fine. Now the problem is I think I need to come Shut up, mate. You can go now. Go on. Get out of here. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm almost all the way off of the power because I'm just using the thruster. I mean, like I said, I'm sure that you would never in real life have to turn around a cruise ship like this in real life. You would not have to do it. There would be loads of tugs that would help you. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be turning around, but I'm assuming so because the arrows here... I mean, was I supposed to reverse? Stay on course, Captain. So where's my friggin' car? Oh, yeah, over here. Okay. So yeah, we did have to do a massive crazy turn. Like, seriously, that's insane. Are you kidding me? Now, someone asked in my last video on this game whether, whether you could use this game with the Oculus Rift. Now, at the moment, it's pretty impossible for you to... Well, in my humble opinion, it, it, it's pretty impossible for you to play this game only from the inside view. You have to use the external views, the third-person views, for you to navigate. Like, There's no way that I could see where all of the boat is just by um, using the, the external view. All right, I think we can start to straighten up. I think we're good now, guys. We don't need this anymore. Let's take the thruster thing back to zero. Okay. We are cooking on gas, so to speak. Okay, so we should be going dead straight now. We should be going dead straight. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure in real life you'd have, like, people who are looking out or you'd have radar or you know you'd have something for the captain to actually be able to work out where the ship is whereas obviously in this game we don't appear to have that yet so you need to use the third person views quite a lot and in my experience whenever you use third person views a lot with Oculus Rift it usually doesn't work very well. It kind of makes you feel weird and sick. Usually it it's better in games where you can use first person view a lot. Uh, in my opinion, that's what I kind of had noticed in my time. So I believe we still have to pick up all of the passengers. They really need to work on these environmental graphics. I mean, this game is in early access, but they, but they do have a lot to work on, to be fair. I mean, they're adding these missions, but I'm not sure. Maybe they need to work on the environments. Because look at all this flickering and stuff, and I'm yet to see an environment that really excites me. But, it, I mean, unfortunately, it was like that in all the other ship simulator games it seems to be a real issue with these games they can't seem to be able to come up with a good light environment you know oh, I don't know it's kind of weird right we, we need to go to the right a bit don't we maybe a bit more actually we don't really want to crash the boat and like when this thing is moving it's gonna take a lot to stop it so you don't have much opportunity to stop the momentum, you know. 
Now I'm hoping, is it going to ask me to go inside this thing here? I don't, surely not. That would be crazy. There's no way it even would fit in there, right? I'm just wondering where it's going to ask me to pick up the passengers. Wow, if you can hear a bird, that's because there's a bird outside my window, lol. Okay, so... I think we're good. I think we're good, just about. I might just give it a bit more. So we're going straight on over here. comes okay we're good we're good now where is it going to ask me to pick up all the passengers and this is the vehicle's top speed because obviously it's a cruise ship I probably shouldn't have it on 100% power uh, in this area only, but um, like I said, there's no way for me to speed up. And if I was to go at a realistic speed, I'm I'm pretty sure that this video would last forever. Like literally forever. Right, I'm gonna just give it a little bit of left hand here, just a little bit, because I can see the ship is kind of veering a bit, actually. Right, where to next, boss? Okay, head to the port side of the bay. Over there. Okay. There's another container ship over there, which kind of scares me. Right, so what we're going to have to do, I suppose that if I try to be as close to there as I can, without obviously crashing into it, that will help. We won't have to go sideways for so long. So this is looking like where we need to pull up to, I think. We'll see. Well, I am pleased to report the game is not really crashing anymore. I did have issues before of the game crashing a bit. But, no, not at the moment. Right, I suppose we need to come off the revs, because like I said, this thing is going to slow down super quick, uh, super slowly, so... And I'm, I'm assuming it means this is this is where all the passengers will get on. It doesn't look very large, does it? It doesn't look very big to me, but anyway. And but having done a couple of videos on these very large ships, I don't know, is there a way for them like to make this interesting? I don't know. I mean, I think the kind of s the smaller boats, I would say they seem a lot more interesting, really. I mean, this boat is so slow. I mean, it's absolutely massive. And I don't know, like, if they would like people to feel excited about this they need to somehow well I mean like even with the option to speed up the time I think that would help a lot because at least you're not waiting for so long just for a very very basic thing on this ship you know right I'm going to start moving this to the left Yeah, we're going to come right off the power now. In fact, we're going to reverse power a little bit. 
just to make sure we don't overshoot like crazy and we're going to give it full left hand whack here yeah is it slowing down enough here yeah slow to speed I think that's is that far enough to the left great okay so he's allowed me to stop to stop the mission there funny great we have arrived and all the passengers are on board so now we get now we start our trip leave the harbor Right, it says leave the harbour. Oh no, don't tell me we're going back. Yes, these people are like trying to torture me, I'm telling you. They want me to go back that way, are you kidding me? They want me to go back and leave the harbour. Wow, brutal. That is brutal. Totally brutal. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm ever going to do this. This is going to be me like crashing and burning pretty bad. I think. Yeah, this is going to end really badly. It's just, there's no room here at all. No room here at all, right. Right, we're going to come off. We're not going to be reversing like that, no. Okay, we're going to use this to head over to the right hand side of the, of the dock hopefully eventually somehow I don't know uh, like yeah this is kind of a bit ridiculous the second massive turn if I was to ask for a tug, what would happen? Oh, no. So, it's, oh, it just shows me the tug points. Isn't there a way that I can ask for a tug? I don't think there is. Like, seriously, this is pretty crazy. Why would you do this? Why would you force me to do a massive U-turn <laughs> in a cruise ship? I'm really not thinking that's very realistic. And like, is there only a thruster thing? I mean, I wish they put something on some like animation on the side of, of the the ship, like to show the thruster working. Because look, right now I can't see the thruster working, so I I don't really know if there's only a thruster on the front, or is there a thruster on the back as well? I don't know. But from the way that it's moving, it looks like there's only one on on the front. But I could be wrong. So what I'm going to do is reverse a little bit. And hopefully that might help to turn it around. But this is just ridiculous. Really. Like if you had the, the, the ability to like speed up the, the, uh, the time. Then it would be okay. But like this it's just ridiculous. Like. This is a video that's already been 25 minutes, and it's just me trying to turn around a massive cruise ship, you know? It's not a lot of fun. It, this is not going to work, is it? I can see this already.
Yeah, this is not going to work at all, is it? There's barely, like, enough room here. There's barely enough room here. For me. Like, to do anything. Right, I'm, I'm really going to have to tr use full speed ahead here. It's not a good idea, I'm aware of that. But, look. Otherwise, we're going to be sat here forever. So, yeah. For some reason... They only allow you to fast forward the time, you know, like when you have to cross the water. They really ought to allow you to do that as well in these situations, you know. Alright, we're gonna, we are gonna be like crashing anytime soon. Because there is no way on this earth I'm gonna do this. Like, literally, no way. Nope. There's literally no way we're going to crash into that, aren't we? We're definitely going to crash into there. Oh. Come on, cruise ship. I mean, I've I've come right off the throttle here, and I'm hoping the thruster thing is going to do its its job. I think it is. But it's very tedious. Yeah, actually, the bow, the the thruster, the bow thruster, whatever, does seem to be working. Okay, so we averted the danger there. Actually, we're, we're, we're kind of looking okay now. But there's another container ship coming. Oh my goodness. And they seem to be a lot faster than me. I seem to be very slow. They seem to be much faster. Well, I think I can put a little bit more power, forward power on now, just a bit. Hopefully so that I can get this thing turned around a bit faster. I don't, I don't know. I don't think we're going to crash into that part of the port, but... See, then the problem is the rear of the, the cruise ship might also hit something I don't know look at that glitchiness there on the rear end the flickering flicker flicker oh man come on the container ship is coming we're kind of looking a bit better now. We are looking a bit better now, but I reckon the rear end of the the ship is going to hit something. That's my guess. That's my prediction. And now that we're we're getting kind of close to this other grassy area. I mean, I don't have a lot of gas on. Just a little bit. But look, we're, we're starting to get very close. Actually, I think we're going to easily miss the grassy area, it looks like. Right, this might be okay, actually. Do you think I can reverse up a bit? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to, like, stick the, the boat in reverse. That's going to be another, like, half an hour, seriously. Right, I think I'm going to do that. Just take this off. Power in reverse. Take off the this, obviously. Take off all steering. Because I reckon if I just left it like that, we would have crashed into the, the port there. Obviously these videos will get much more exciting when they do add a fast forward feature in, into the game. I'm assuming that, that, that they are going to do that sooner rather than later, but not yet in their wisdom. Because this would be a lot less tedious to watch on video. 
if uh, I could fast forward the speed a bit more. Anyway, looks like we're not going to crash. That makes a change. Although we are kind of veering towards the port again a little bit. Like, it's crazy, like, asking me to do a full turn. I mean, maybe it would have been better for me to, like, reverse the cruise ship, but I've never seen a cruise ship reversing up a river before. <laughs> so, and of course, the AI of the all the other, the other ships, they just, like, they keep going until they get really up close to you. You see, this thing is going gonna, is gonna to keep going it, until it gets right near me, and then it's going to honk its horn and have a go at me. It's like, mate, why don't you friggin' try to avoid me or something a little bit? At least give me a bit of room. Like, seriously, give me some room. Oh, my God. Are you seriously going to come that close to me? Shut up. Are you seriously going to come that close to me? You idiot. Right. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to come off the power. What is he doing? He's literally going to crash into me. He's lit... What? Great. Look, he's just crashed into me. The ship is damaged. Awesome. And what kind of graphics are there on this ship anyway? The container ship. What kind of, like, graphics is that? That's obviously, like, a placeholder. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. This is crazy. So, first of all, I think that, I mean, if any of you guys in the comments, if you actually have any experience of this, I would love to know. But I have, you know, I don't have any idea from a professional point of view. But from my life experience, I don't think you'd ask a cruise ship to do like a U-turn on a river on its own. So, it seems highly unrealistic to me. And then, like, I nearly get the thing turned around. And then the container ship just goes right into me. Surely it could have, like, seen me from ways off. I don't know. So, the missions uh, certainly leave a lot to be desired. I'm, you know, I'm not going to say that my skill was amazing or anything. But uh, it's really hard, like, to turn this around. And it's not really helping me, is it, the game? So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I would love to know your opinions in the, in, the, in, the, in the comment section below. And, of course, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.